So Yamaha's got the best onboard diagnostic systems that I've ever seen. I've had seven or eight different bikes in the past. I've never seen such a feature rich diagnostic system on any of the bikes. The only one that comes close was my KTM RC390. That had an onboard system where you can change like the idle speed. I was pretty impressed by that. But this thing is off the charts. This is a 2008 Yamaha R1. That's almost 16 years old. Who knows what the new modern bikes can do. I'm gonna go through just some of the diagnostics that I've used uh, that's helped me with this bike. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to activate the diagnostic system. They actually say you should start with the kill switch off. So you hold both the reset and the select. Press down and then turn the ignition on and count to eight. One, two three four five six okay so it's already in diag so you can see from there and then you, you uh if you press up and down uh you can change between two options but when you're in diag you select it by pressing the reset and select for two seconds one two okay and so there's about 60 diagnostic modes the first one I'm going to talk about is D01, and that's the throttle position sensor. A lot of, a common problem on this Yamaha R1 is the throttle position sensor. It's a very expensive job to do. When I had issues on my bike, I thought it was, and I was just going to go out and change it, and probably cost me a few hundred dollars, if not more. It's very hard to get to. And after I realized that there was this diagnostic mode, I realized I could just test it. The reason is because the throttle body is all electronically controlled. This is um, a 2008, but it's drive by wire. It's not um, an actual cable. And so uh, this tells you the position. So it's at position 16. If I pull the throttle, you can see it's going up, up and up and up and up. And so I know that uh, the, the throttle position sensor was good. The other cool thing you can do, like I said, there's you know 60 functions that you can test. But the other thing that helped me out was I wanted to know if my injectors were stuck or if there was something wrong with my injectors. And that's uh, D36, I think. Three, four, five, thirty. Okay, thirty. Go back to thirty-six. And what this does is it clicks the injectors on and off one by one. So thirty-six is injector one, and you can go up thirty-seven, thirty-eight, and thirty-nine uh, for each different injector. And the idea is you need to hear the injector click five times, uh, and that's when you know it's good. Uh, you'll also hear a buzzing because the fuel pump also turns on as well. So you control it by the kill switch. There's a lot of controls that are controlled by the kill switch here. So if I turn it on, you'll hear the injector click five times and you'll know like it's not getting stuck um, and that you can hear the clicking um, and that's sort of how you diagnose it. So it sounds a bit like an indicator, but it's the actual injector clicking. So you know that it's good. Uh, if I can go like to the next one. So uh, you don't want to keep it on for too long because you know the fuel pump's going and, and fuel's being dumped as the injectors are opening. Uh, it's being dumped into the cylinder. There's also like um, what they call a pressure down test where you can have an attachment and attach it to your fuel pump. Um, and as the fuel pump builds up pressure, then you can turn it off and you can see how long it holds that pressure for. But that's like a separate adapter you need to get to connect a pressure gauge to your fuel line with like a T connector. The other thing I use is the in-memory diagnostics. You know, previously with other bikes I've had, I've had to buy like connectors, special connectors, and then use like um, that o OEB or whatever it is, OBE um adapter to look at the fault codes but everything here which is in d60 
shows you all the fault codes. So um, there is a fault code currently on my bike, which is uh, in 61, it tells you it cycles through the code. So there's only one code on my bike and that's 17. And 17 is that the XUP valve, I think is being reprogrammed. Uh, so I've changed the fuel. I, I went from 98 premium to 95 premium. And I also before took the XUP valve off. So I've, I've been getting this code 17 a lot. Um, and it's just the XUP valve readjusting itself. Uh, sometimes you'll see like the engine light turn on as you're riding. Um, and then when you stop, you can look at 61, D61, and you can see what code it was. Uh, D62 shows you how many faults there are. So there's only one. That's why there was, that's why it wasn't um, cycling. And you can actually delete it by turning on the kill switch. So I just deleted it. So if I go back now to 60, 61, sorry, uh, there's, there's, there's no fault, fault, fault code there, it's um, zero. So yeah, it can do like tons more f functions. You can test like coils and relays and just a ton of stuff. There's a document that's floating around on the internet that tells you what all the fault codes are, what all the diagnostic modes are. So yeah, this is the most coolest advanced onboard diagnostic that I've ever seen for any bike that I've had so far.